Good afternoon. My name is Becky, Socks for Mom. I'm coming to you today from Denver, Colorado, where I've been here since August with my daughter. She got a new puppy. So we've been in puppy world and she has gone over to a friend's house so Brinkley can play with her dog, her friend's dog. So I have a few moments to myself and I can finally film a floss tube. It's been a couple months and I do have things to share with you. So I hope you will sit back and visit with me while I show you some um, things I've been up to. start out today with three things that I've finished. One is fully finished and the other two are waiting for frames. I'm excited about all three of these. Um, so let me start and show you. The first one is from a print uh, design that is unfortunately out of print. It's the Good Huswife. We all really want her patterns and we all really, really wish she would um, start designing again or at least make her patterns into PDFs but this is Miss Ida May Crow. I wanted to stitch her for a very 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 long time. Um, I would love to have the other pattern but I don't. The other pattern is maybe Ray the Crow it's her sweetheart. I don't know what his name is, but I will just have Ida for now. She's really cute. She reminds me a lot of the Marilyn Engelbright um, photos, not photos, drawings. And I just think she's precious. I did mine on DMC on some Swigart 32 count natural linen. I was working on samplers the whole month of September, one sampler in particular that I'll talk about, and I needed something fun and easy to stitch, so I, I had this pattern um, that I had scanned on my iPad, which is how I, I like to stitch my patterns. I like to just scan them into my iPad and use my iPad. And she was there, and I said, I wanna stitch her. So here she is, she's just precious. I have in my laundry room a great big cruel work that I did of sunflowers back in the 70s. So I think I'm gonna hang her there and I think, I think I'll get some more sunflower um, cross stitching hung up in there. So if you have any recommendations of something with sunflowers, please let me know. So that's Miss Ida Mae Crow, um, two over two on Swigart Natural Linen. Next up is what I worked on for the entirety of Sampler September. I started this sampler last Sampler September. I purchased it and got a start on it. And so I thought it was very fitting that I finish it this Sampler September. Um, Actually, this is a September sampler soiree piece because it's a reproduction. But um, I know that Sherry of 
Colorado Stitcher has issued a challenge to change a sampler up to suit your fancy for, um, she's calling it Cross Stitch Camp 2022. So I thought that I would change, here she is, it's Agnes Lyle. I thought I would make her my very own by changing all the R's and the E's in the lettering to blue because Miss Agnes stitched hers when she was nine years old. And when I was nine years old, I went by Rebecca and my maiden name is Edwards. So I thought that was fun to just make those all blue. So that's how I changed her. Um, little Miss Agnes was all over the place with the mistakes here and there. And I just stitched them as they were, which is fun. Something I noticed when I took the photo of this is that these great big letters right here, J, L, and AD that were on the sampler are actually my daughter's initials, Jennifer Lauren and Allison Diane. So I think that was fun. But um, first off, in this row, this is hard to hold. In this row right here, these are all of Agnes's siblings. And I just saw something I forgot to do. Um, J, let's see, let's see if I can hang it like this. Her um, grandparents are in black here and I should have stitched a little line right there, which I will do. But all of these are her siblings, which is what the Scots do a lot on their samplers or that's uh, something that's how you could recognize a Scottish sampler. Actually, I'm really tired. We went out to the mountains this morning and um, to see the Aspen and we're just, we spent, spent, I mean, we just got back. And so I'm a little weary. So this first video back in two months, I'm gonna be off in what I say. You know, I do that anyways. Okay, so all of these are eyelets right there that I stitched. I did make a glaring mistake. I'm just gonna do this right here and see if you can notice it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but if you think you know what it is, leave me a comment. So there's Miss Agnes Lyle. Um, a friend of mine thought she got married when she was nine years old, the way this is written. Um, it's hard to read it backwards. It says, um, Agnes Lyle, and then it says, so, sewed, S-O-W-E-D, sewed this in the year 1832, age nine, Glasgow. And my friend thought this was the word wed. So she thought that she actually got wed in the, at the age of nine. Love that big white house. So once again, this pattern is Agnes Lyle. It's uh, designed by Whilst Iris Knapps. I'll leave the link below. And also what I want to tell you about this, it is on 36 count vintage pearled barley. That's my second finish. My third finish I'm especially thrilled with. It took two years. Excuse me. And I partnered up with my friend Amy Loves Toads and 
We Stitched Berry Bowls by The Scarlet House and Heartstring Samplery. So this was a collaboration between Beth Twist and Tanya. And Beth Twist designed this side. Tanya designed this side. And then the two are sewn together. And it says, like, life is sweeter when shared with friends, 2022. And Amy and I just love this. I got my frame at Michael's. They were having a 50% off sale. I asked them to cut me some foam core and I sewed the two pieces together and then um, stitched the center medallion. So Amy stitched one side, I stitched the other side and she has one of my pieces to add to hers. So we both basically stitched the whole thing and um, in a sense cut it in half, although I really had two pieces of linen and mailed the other half to a friend. So that's berry bowls, which I really, really love. So those are my finished things that I finished since last we spoke. I'm gonna gather this up, put it away, and come back and talk about, um, well, Sampler September was basically Agnes Lyle. So I'm gonna talk about my plans for October. There was one other thing I forgot to show you that I finished, but I'm working on Quaker House Samplers by Carriage House Samplings. And I did a little round robin with two of my friends, Barb and Pat, with this piece. I sent my threads on to Barb, and then she sent my piece and my threads on to Pat, and then it came back to me, and I put the last motif on it. And then I'm going to stitch this right here. I barely started it, but I'll show you that. And it's coming right out, totally wrinkled, because I totally forgot about this. Let's see how I can do this. This is my piece. I used um, needlepoint silk. So Pat stitched a motive, Barb stitched a motive, Pat stitched two, Barb stitched one, and then I finished it up. And those are our initials. And I'll show you the other piece that I've started. took a picture of it, made it into um, thread keep, and this is all I have so far. Now my friend Pat has decided she's going to do all the three houses, each house with the colors that each one of us picked. So she'll have multi houses, multicolored houses. I'm gonna stick and do mine just like the picture. So that was the other thing that's been accomplished. I have yet to send Pat's to her. And I'll show you hers. Well, maybe I won't. I won't show it to you since she doesn't have it yet. I won't spoil your surprise, Pat. Okay, now let's talk about uh, October. In September, I always want to stitch on samplers for Sampler September and September Sampler Soiree. And last year I picked out five and I stitched on each one of them for six days, I think. 
Um, this year, I just wanted to finish Agnes Lyle, so I, that's the only one I worked on. Uh, but by the end of the month, I am really ready to get on with the fall stitching because everyone is showing their fall pieces and they all start in August or early, early September and I'm itching to start. So that's what I did. Um, so first up, I made this cute little bag last year. And it has a little checkerboard that I quilted on the inside. I picked Penny Autumn. And I picked it out of my whips because I'm still really trying to work down my whips. So I had already started this. I had just maybe a little bit of those pennies done right there. And I took it with me on a recent trip to Philadelphia to see my daughter and her family and my awesome grandkids. And this is what I accomplished. So I'm back to my rotation again, and I plan to stitch four days on this twice this month. So that's eight days. Hopefully I can finish it up. I really would like to, but I love stitching this. It's on, looks like it's on Wren. It's 36 count. And here are the pretty autumn colors. So that is the first one. I should have shown you the one that I stitched five days on. So my rotation is five, four, three, two, one. And then I will repeat that however many times till those are done. And hopefully that will be the end of October or maybe early November. So the other thing that I'm working on, last year I went to the uh, Quilter Station September Extravaganza and Barb was there from Blackbird Designs and she gave us two kits She gave us this one, Delicious Autumn, and I would like to finish it just like it is. And I'm gonna insert a picture here of um, Barb's display at the retreat, and I'd like to display mine the same way. So I started that, this, on October 1st, four, four days ago, let's see. Now I started it on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've been working on it three days, I think. I'll have to look at my calendar, but hope to finish that by the end of the month and sew it up into that cute little tote. It's on 36 count, picture this plus, Wren. with all the over dyes. And I just really love the way Barb, Barb and Alma used to. Um, this is how they gave the threads to us. Isn't that a great idea? And there's enough thread there to make the other kit we got. Pull it out of its little pouch here. is this sweet little 
squirrel is a drum. So I would like to do that and finish it up. We got the, we got the fabric for it and we also got the lace, not the lace, the ribbon. And I believe there's some rickrack in here somewhere. Oh, here's more ribbon. So we got these two ribbons. And here's the rickrack. It's all obviously come out of its original <laughs> case. And here's even more ribbon. And look at how she packaged that. Isn't that sweet? So I won't know till I get the directions what all those ribbons are for, but that is for the squirrel pin keep. So that is my third thing I'm working on. And um, that will get three days. Something I'm going to do for two days is I saw Celeste uh, stitch this up and show this beautiful drum. She and a friend did it. It's called Autumn Song, Song. and I admired it and admired it, and I thought, I want to do that too. And she said, I think she said it only took her a night to stitch that, or maybe two days. So this will be my two-day project show it to you. I really want to stitch every single thing in this book. Everything. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Right here it is. And she gives you all the directions on how to finish it. So I'm looking forward to that. That will be Let's see, five, four, three, two, have I done four? I feel like I have. I think this will be the one day thing. So I'll do it twice this month and I'll have that done. Anyways, I know a lot of you say, uh, not a lot of you, one person has told me that my rotation is very, very confusing. So I'm not gonna bother to explain it because uh, that person told me my explanation didn't make sense either. So just know that I do a five, four, three, two, one. Five days, four days, three days, two days, one day. And then I repeat that and I just keep doing it until it's done. So that's what I'm gonna be working on in October. I have a couple sows that I'm doing that I'm gonna talk about and I will be right back. I'm in a group of ladies called the Under and Across Stitchers, and we stitch things together where we come together and we vote on something and uh, stitch that particular thing, and then one of us volunteers to lead us through it, to kind of forge ahead, see what to be careful about, um, and just give little small assignments and that just keeps us going. So what we picked this last time was Noel Sampler by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. It's really pretty. We all really were wanting to do something Christmassy and one by one, we've all, a lot of people have fallen behind, which is okay. I'm just, um, going to give the next assignment this Friday. I think we've had two weeks off, um, but it's really pretty. I picked Lakeside Vintage Cedar Gray, and here's what mine looks like. Sorry, I didn't get it on the cue snaps very even but I think it's really sweet and it's going to be very pretty. And since it's a red house, 
that will hang on my red house wall year round. And I have plenty left over, hopefully but enough for another good size, medium size sampler. This is all DMC, folks. Every bit of it. Isn't that amazing? Noel sampler. And I believe mine is 36 count again. However, it may be 40. I'm not quite sure. And I don't have any notes. So it's pretty. It's going to be pretty. And here are all the DMCs with my vintage Santa. I call this one my mischievous. He looks mischievous to me. And these are all the colors. Oh, the DMCs, it uses lots of colors. Very pretty. So that is the Noel sampler and it's in one of the bags when I used to have a club. It's in one of my club bags. It used to have a really cute snow globe hanging on it. And I don't know what happened to that. I should replace that. But I like that bag. Let's see. The other sal I'm in is with my friend Barb. And we decided we wanted to stitch the Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. I think we may have started this in November. Did we start this in November, Barb? I don't remember, but I had, mine's in this book. I had some issues first off and I almost, almost just quit with it. This is an old book, but it's also in a newer book, uh, Tis the Season, that they came out with. I just could not settle on my colors and finally I listened to Barb. Uh, this was my original one. And I mean, I had gotten pretty far and um, I just didn't like those colors. I guess I don't really like light linen, um, but I didn't care for those colors too much. They were too pinky. And actually, this is probably my third time I tried different colors on it. And finally, I went with some dark linen some linen that my um, Cynthia create, Cynthia and I bought together from Vicki Clayton. It was a one-off and I'm much, much happier. So I actually started over and don't think I'm gonna finish this this year, but I just like it so much better on this. This back here, is pretty accurate to the color as opposed to this up here makes it lighter but i really like that i'm using cherry cobbler for my red caper for my green and then the other two colors are dmc 829 is my only gold part 3031 is my brown, and I've replaced all the gold with this color, a white. Um, not white, but 3033, off-white. And I'm really happy with it. I usually, I usually stitch on it every day of the month that's divisible by five, but Sampler September came around and I didn't show up much love. And I don't think I'll be able to show up much love this month in October. I may try to, 
but um, I'm just enjoying it so much. I don't care if it's finished by Christmas. I just like using the word of the year that I pick savor. I'm savoring every stitch. It's pure joy. I don't feel any rush, rush, rush on this one. And I'm very happy with it. Okay. And the other sow I'm working on is Consider the Lilies. Stitching it on Sundays. And on <laughs> On my birthday, on Pat's birthday, and on Barb's birthday. The 1st, the 7th, and the um, 25th. Because my birthday is this month, on the 25th. So this is Consider the Lilies. I have both the book and I have uh, the PDF. And I'm mostly using my PDF and highlighting as I go. I'm using all of the call for colors. They're both Weeks and um, Gentle Arts. Not sure if there's a classic in here. Yep, there's classic also. So these colors are much more colorful than uh, Sparrow was. My daughter said to me the other day when she saw me stitching and she said, Mom, is that another thing on the wall? <laughs> I said, yep, it is. I'm not expecting this one to take as long because I've got some moral support with them. But this is all I have. And if you wanna see one beautiful finished one, then you can go see Celeste, she did a beautiful one. So I've got the border on two and a half sides. And uh, this linen is beautiful. It's a seraphim and it's dusty road. It's 40 count. a companion piece to my other one his eyes on the sparrow and let's see last but not least is something I would really like to finish by the end of the year I've been working on it for three years four years I don't know but this is the let me scoot back the village of Hawkrun Hollow. And I'm on the very last block. And it is no joke. It may take six months to stitch. But um, I do have a couple blocks I need to go back and finish. I didn't do the willows on this because I initially started stitching this with um, my friend, Cynthia and we're kind of stitching this together. And so, isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm using up here, it was partially DMC, partially silk. I just kept adding silks to it. So by the time I'm down to here, I'm pretty much doing all silks, um, except for this block here. And I do have something I want to say about silks and DMC. So if you notice, or if you can tell, my black coverage is not as good as there's maybe one little part here that I did silks. Can you see that? The silk is thicker than DMC. So the coverage is better. Had I to do it all over again, I would have gone back. I would have bought the silks for this, but that's an awful lot of black and I may have needed, I don't know, a lot. Um, right now, 
I am putting in six threads a day in hopes of finishing this by my birthday, October 25th, because I started it on my birthday. It was a birthday start several years ago. So it'd be awesome to finish it up, but I'm not even halfway done with this block. And, um, but it is possible that I can finish it by the end of the year. So um, I'm just gonna continue on with six a day in the morning when I get up and hopefully that will be done by the end of the year. I don't think it's a pipe dream. I think it's actually can be a reality, but here it is again. And I show it every Friday night on Facebook in the Let's All Move to Hawk Run Hollow. I have pulled out um, Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow that I'm gonna try to work on through October too, but I won't get it. We're going back to Texas um, next week and I'll be home for three weeks in my house. So excited. <sighs> but then we'll, Don and I will drive back up here and stay here till Thanksgiving. It's just very difficult, this puppy stuff. We have, you know, it's kind of like when you give birth to a baby and over the years you kind of forget all the birth pain and just remember the good parts. I, I think we forgot what life with a puppy is like. <laughs> and I'm just jumping up and down all the time, you know, saying no to this, no to that. But he's coming along and he's adorable and I'll pop some photos in on the end here. And he and I, just now this week, he's old enough um, to start taking him on 20 minute walks. He can go on two 20 minute walks a day. Otherwise, he gets the zoomies. And I'm gonna put a clip of that on at the end of this. And you, don't worry. You will figure out which one of the videos is the zoomies. It's his crazy boy stuff. So that's about all I wanted to share today. Um, I feel like this has been really disjointed. Please be patient with me. Um, I really do hope to come back more often to film, but for me to do so, Brinkley needs to be visiting a friend or mom needs to get her act together in time to have everything ready to go for when he goes down for a nap. You know, I remember in the 80s when I had my two girls, they would take their naps. I used to do Jane Fonda and that video, I almost rarely got to the cool down because by the, I had to be all in my gear because you know, in the 80s, we wore all those <laughs> silly outfits and I had to be dressed, ready to go, lay them down, and um, inevitably I couldn't get through it until they were older. And then, then you know, they knew they needed to stay in their room till mommy came and got them. So, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm so thankful we have this craft to help us through the hard times to keep our hands and our minds occupied. And I still am trying to every day look for joy in the small things and savor every moment. So I wish you the same. Take care, friends. Bye.
Hey, buddy.